strangely quiet in these pandemic COVID-19 times. Um, the red light district in Amsterdam is usually overrun with tourists. It's something like a tourist phenomenon. And that is because of its cheap souvenir shops, its coffee shops, its bars, but of course, most famously for the Amsterdam window prostitution. In fact, there are a lot of signs posted everywhere warning tourists off taking images of the sex workers and themselves selfies to post on their social media walls. And it may seem characteristic of this day and age that people would actually like to post these images of sex workers on Facebook or Instagram. But that is not entirely the case, it's nothing new. For in the 16th and 17th century, travelers like merchants or students or soldiers also collected images of sex workers to post on their own social media. The most obvious and um, everywhere ubiquitous um, type of social medium in the 16th and 17th century was the so-called album emicorum or friendship books. Travelers from Western Europe mostly um, asked people they met along the way to inscribe their name in a small size book and also add some textual or visual contribution as a token of friendship. And images of social types of people in foreign countries were highly popular as album contributions. I am Marika Kevlusek and I study these friendship albums as networks of collections and in particular I'm looking at the role of images what do these say about the perception of travellers on otherness and strangeness and, in the end, ultimately, about their own identity? Now, in the album Amicorum, or the friendship book, the um, cortegiana, veneziana, or the Venetian courtesan is one of the most popular images that we not only see in these travel albums, but, for instance, also on the, um, the borders of maps and in other publications that were popular, like costume books. She is, the Venetian courtesan, is comparable to a high-class escort girl in the thriving sex industry of Venice, an international hub in the early modern times. And in fact, the um, sex industry was so thriving that, to give you an example, in 1500, out of 100,000 residents, 12,000 of them were prostitutes. That's over 10%. And these included the lower class prostitutes working under the Rialto Bridge, but also the escort courtesans. They were so popular that in fact they had their own catalogue printed in which the courtesans advertised prices and locations and their services. And travellers' accounts report on them walking the streets of Venice with their breasts open and their faces painted a foot deep. They were famous for their extremely high platform shoes and their bleached hair. And thus, encountering a Venetian courtesan was a highlight of a traveller to Venice, the Amsterdam of the South. Now we see these images of Venetian courtesans everywhere in friendship albums. And as I said, they were also popular in other publications like costume books or on the borders of maps. So they were everywhere. And um, you can see how popular they were and their sort of idea of scandal and sensation that were attached to these um, images because of visual clever tricks played by publishers or by um, artists who painted these images because often you could lift a little flap or there were images where you could lift a little flap so you would see a respectable woman in an expensive gown you could lift a flap and then underneath her high heeled shoes and even men's trousers were revealed. So sensation is part of this, but that is not all, because travellers also um, describe these women as decked out in oriental pearls like second Cleopatras, and they liken their beautiful dresses to red and blue tulips. And these are items or, or these are metaphors telling us something about the connotation of exoticness that attached to these women. 
tulips, pearls from the Orient. These were highly coveted items for collectors of the time. These were exotic objects. And so the images of courtesans in, album, um, in friendship albums or in other publications were not just about sensation or scandal. They were seen as collectible exotic objects. So it is not really strange that both here in Amsterdam and in Venice in the 21st century and in the 16th century um, in places that were famous for their openly public sex industry, images um, of sex workers were shown on social, um, social walls, social media walls of the time. I've been to Amsterdam, I've been to Venice, is what these images signal. But in the 16th century, there's something more than just that I've been there. Um, this idea for a traveller to collect these images and for his friends later to see that in fact he had been to Venice. It allowed them, these sort of images of foreign people, allowed them a window to an unknown, exotic, strange world that they didn't know themselves. And so it Subsequently, these images reflect 16th and 17th century perceptions of the other and of themselves.